I'm sorry, excuse me. Can I get a glass of water, please? Please, I really just need a glass of water. Don't look away, please. I just need a glass of water. <clears throat> I can't get the bartender's attention. I think she might be ignoring me. It's the tentacles or the eyes. I, I'm i gonna shut up now forever. Oh, thanks for flagging her down. I really needed this. Thanks so much. The toast really took it out of me. I'm not used to raising my voice. I don't really go to a lot of weddings. Are you one of Andromeda's friends? Ah, other side of the couple then. Unless you're the photographer, of course. N not that I have anything against wedding photographers. I would still talk to you, even if you were on the job, unless I was distracting you. In which case, I'm sorry. I, I am sorry. I'm just going to go sit in the corner again. Could I just talk to one cute, nice-smelling person who's willing to make eye contact with me without freaking out? Oh, you again. Did I drop something? What's the bucket for? Oh. Wow, that was very brave of you. I can't believe you just leaned over the bar and used the sink. I'd be so afraid they'd yell at me. I mean, not that anybody ever yells at me with a scary face like this. But <sighs> Thank you for the water. This should be plenty. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not going to pass out or anything, thanks to you. You don't have to sit here and talk to me. I mean, well, unless you do want to talk to me. Okay, okay. I swear I had something for this. Not that I had an icebreaker or a pickup line better than you rescuing me when my larynx was about to collapse. <laughs> I'm not trying to pick you up or anything. Oh my gosh. I'm Trixie. Bellatrix. No, let's go with Trixie. Did you spend some time in the Underdark? You just seem so, well, comfortable. And th that's surprising. I never see any other lithids, so I assume most people aren't used to seeing us. And most people don't take kindly to seeing one for the first time. School was brutal, let me tell you. I heard it all. Mind flayer, squid face, slime girl, zombie breath. You know, because I eat brains. I know it's weird, but it's not like I make fun of humans for eating cheese. Gross. Oh, I guess you weren't making fun of me. Sorry. You were just leaning forward slightly and making eye contact. I, I, I assumed you were about to say something cutting. And you obviously weren't making fun of me, so I was being extremely rude by assuming you were about to... <sighs> Sorry. I'm not usually all over the place. <clears throat> No, that's a lie. I've had a ton of anxiety since I was a nematode. It's something I would change about myself if I could. I'm working on it. G going places, trying to meet people. So, um, what do you do? That's cool. My job is kind of boring. I'm a pharmacologist. I study chemicals to see if they can be used in medicine. Mostly by taking mushrooms out of a very dark room into a slightly less dark room and dissecting them and then measuring what compounds are present. It's quiet, repetitive, maybe a little boring, but it makes a difference in the world. 
kind of like me. Or at least that's what I tell myself. I like that I get to set my own hours. That's a big perk. I've got a lot of friends overseas, and I like to watch them stream. And my guild raids at like 5 a.m. local time. This cake is my breakfast, actually. It's a great way to start the day. No, I eat brains only once in a blue moon. It has proteins that I can't synthesize myself, so technically I'm an involuntary carnivore. Like cats. But don't get me wrong, stewed brains are delicious. It tastes like color. But, you know, I try to do my part. I make a great vegan lasagna. Um, well, yeah, I have teeth. I could show you, but you probably don't want to see them. They're super weird. Trust me, I just really don't think you want to see them. I don't mind showing them, but like, shucks. If I'm going to weird you out, I might as well get it over with. Uh... See? That's what I've got, you know, behind the curtain. I've got rows of spines in my mouth, and they can lay flat like this. <laughs> and one time at summer camp, I was brushing my teeth and I made a girl scream. I was 12, and she was probably in high school. It's okay. If I made you uncomfortable, you can just tell me. This isn't some elaborate prank, is it? Like, you didn't bet anybody 20 bucks that you could get me to show you the inside of my mouth? Because, um, that's happened before. And I swear I'm not paranoid. I just, I get super nervous about this. About what we're doing right now. So, um, since I showed you mine, could you... Oh, that's nice. All that up-tempo music was kind of intimidating. All those people dancing and laughing. I'm not coordinated enough for that, and I'm sure everybody would look at me like a weirdo if I tried. It's cute, though, seeing everybody pair off now. Do you think they all come as couples? I think that Kitsune and her partner were on different sides of the aisle. Oh, wow. They are are dancing really close. Oh, no thanks. I don't really know how to dance. And I think this one takes two. Oh. Oh! You want to dance with me? Uh, like, right now? Yeah, let's go for that. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> okay, we're walking out on the dance floor. Let me know if you see anybody sharpening a pitchfork. Is here good? I don't want to bump into anybody else. Wait, when did you start holding my hand? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm not slimy at all. It was just a mean nickname in high school. Elithid puberty is <laughs> rough. So, uh, I just put my hands up on your shoulders and you put your hands up on my waist. Is that right? Okay. Wow. This is nice. I thought it would be harder somehow we just look at each other and move together i don't really know how i'm supposed to move my feet exactly but i'm having fun i hope you are too it's shaped up to be quite an evening started with the classic dying of anxiety before the toast to actually dying of thirst and then some dying of embarrassment and now, finally, a little bit of living. The 
dress, the shoes, the necklace, it all seemed pretty futile when I was getting ready, but now I feel almost glamorous. It's a completely ridiculous word, isn't it? I hope you feel proud of yourself making me feel this way. You're very reassuring. It's like the room is smaller when I look at you. I in a good way, I mean. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Sooner or later, it's going to sink in that you aren't offended by my existence. I was wondering, do you have anybody that you need to get back to? I mean, I don't, but I thought you might. Maybe somebody you came with, like a plus one, or if maybe you're somebody's plus one. It, it's super cool if you don't. I was just thinking, you know, it, it's a slow song, and we're dancing pretty close. Like, is there someone who would be jealous that you're holding me like this? Okay, cool. Uh, like, super cool. I was just wondering. Food for thought. Ah, uh, fish sticks. Hey, could you actually walk me to my car? My purse is in there, which means my phone is in there, and I'd really like to give you my Discord handle, in, in case you ever want to, like, voice chat or play games. Listen. I realize you didn't want to get separated from me as we were going to and from the dance floor, but, um, gosh, do you realize that our fingers are still laced together? For some inexplicable reason, I felt the need to point out that this doesn't seem like a platonic handhold. Because you're kind of sending me a message as we walk to my car. Like, are are you sure about this? Because I'm not, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm super not. Not about you, like the other way. No, I'm, I'm not asking you to let go or walk away. You're very reassuring and I'm just a little scared. But I'm always a little scared. Life is scary. So, um, this is my ride. I'll just, uh... Pop the door. Lean on in. I'm sure my purse is in the floorboard somewhere. I I'm sure it's here. I'll find it any minute now. S somewhere. Well, here it is. <sighs> my username is Lady of War. Each word capitalized, no spaces. Pound sign, and then three, nine... Oh, wow. You're standing very close to me. Oh my gosh, he went for it. All right, Trixie, just like we practiced with the body pillow. Arms around his waist, and then cross behind his back. And then grab his shoulders, and pull in. He's so dreamy the way he's holding me. Such a gentleman. I don't deserve him. Here I was, hoping he'd rip off my dress and pound me from behind and make me scream into the dashboard as we had wild, unprotected sex. I didn't know I wanted this more than that. Do I dare rub against him? No, that's too slutty. I wouldn't even know what to do. And the last thing I need to do is go too far and never get to see him again. But who knew kissing would feel so good? Everyone but me, apparently. I feel like my entire body is tingling. If I hadn't already ruined these panties during the slow dance, they'd be ruined now. His skin is so electric. I just want more and more. And it's funny, because he tastes almost like color. 
I hope I taste all right to him. I'd settle for tasting like that cake that I had before. This must be so weird to him, all these tentacles against his skin, feeling his jaw and his temples. Wow, what a vivid picture. I, I, can, I, I can practically feel it myself just thinking about it. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I think, um, I gotta read on you. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, well, I guess there's no pretending that that didn't happen. Not to pry, but, um, it seems like you liked it. I mean, I really liked it, but you, um... You don't really send mixed signals, and I like that about you. I guess that makes things a lot easier. Do you really think I'm cute? Oh no, that's Andromeda. I better go say hi to her, but don't go too far. I'll be right back, and I want to figure out this thing between us. See you soon. <laughs>